In this exam objective, we're going to look at design data storage. So let's take a dive into this area. Azure offers a number of managed data storage options, each providing different features and capabilities. If your application consists of multiple workloads, evaluate each workload separately. A complete solution may incorporate multiple data stores. Use this flow to chart to select a candidate data store. Service tiers in the DTU-based purchase model are differentiated by a range of compute size with a fixed amount of included storage, fixed retention period for backups, and fixed price. All service tiers in the DTU-based purchase model provide flexibility of changing compute sizes with minimal downtime. However, there is a switchover period where connectivity is lost to the database for a short amount of time, which can be mitigated by using retry logic. Single databases and elastic pools are billed hourly based on service tier and compute size. Note, Azure SQL Managed Instances does not support a DTU-based purchasing model. Choosing a service tier depends primarily on business continuity, storage, and performance requirements. Make sure that you review the link on service tiers and the table that compares DTU-based service tiers. It's a good topic for this exam. Azure SQL Database is based on SQL Server Database Engine architecture that is adjusted for the cloud environment in order to ensure 99.99% .99 availability even in the case of infrastructure failures. There are three architectural models that are used in Azure SQL Database. One, general purpose standard. Two, hyperscale. And three, business critical premium. The hyperscale service tier in Azure SQL Database is the newest service tier in the vCore based purchasing model. This service tier is a highly scalable storage and compute performance tier that leverages Azure architecture to scale out the storage and compute resources for an Azure SQL database substantially beyond the limits available for the general purpose and business critical service tiers. Transparent Data Encryption or TDE for SQL Database, SQL Management Instances, and Azure Synapse Analytics adds a layer of security to help protect data at rest from unauthorized or offline access to raw files or backups. Common scenarios include data center theft or unsecured disposal of hardware or media such as disk drives and backup tapes. TDE encrypts the entire database using an AES encryption algorithm, which doesn't require application developers to make any changes to existing applications. In Azure, all newly created databases are encrypted by default, and the database encryption key is protected by a built-in server certificate. Certificate maintenance and rotation are managed by the service and require no input from the user. Customers who prefer to take control of the encryption keys can manage their keys in Azure Key Vault. SQL Database, SQL Managed Instance, and Azure Synapse Analytics secure customer data by encrypting data in motion with Transport Layer Security, or TLS. SQL Database, SQL Managed Instance, and Azure Synapse Analytics enforce encryption, SSL, TLS, at all times for all connections. This ensures all data is encrypted in transit between the client and server irrespective of the setting of encrypt or trust server certificate in the connection string. As a best practice, recommend that in the connection string used by the application, you specify an encrypted connection and not trust the server certificate. This forces your application to verify the server certificate and thus prevents your application from being vulnerable to man in the middle type attack. SQL Database and SQL Managed Instances secure customer data by providing auditing and threat detection capabilities while data is in use. SQL Database and SQL Managed Instance auditing tracks database activities and helps maintain compliance with security standards by recording database events to an audit log in a customer-owned Azure storage account. Auditing allows users to monitor ongoing database activities as well as analyze and investigate historical activities to identify potential threats or suspected abuse and security violations. Advanced Threat Protection analyzes SQL logs to detect unusual behavior and potentially harmful attempts to access or exploit databases. Alerts are created for suspicious activities such as SQL injection, potential data infiltration, and brute force attacks or for anomalies in access patterns to catch privilege escalations and breach credential use. Alerts can then be viewed from the Azure Security Center where the details of the suspicious activities are provided and recommendations for further investigations given along with actions to mitigate the threat. Mapping data flows are visually designed data transformations in Azure Data Factory. 
Data flows allow data engineers to develop data transformation logic without writing code. The resulting data flows are executed as activities within Azure Data Factory pipelines that use scaled out Apache Spark clusters. Data flow activities can be operationalized using existing Azure Data Factory scheduling, control, flow, and monitoring capabilities. Azure Data Factory is the platform that solves such data scenarios. It is the cloud-based ETL and data integration service that allows you to create data-driven workflows for orchestrating data movement and transforming data at scale. Using Azure Data Factory, you can create and schedule data-driven workflows called pipelines that can ingest data from disparate data stores. You can build complex ETL processes that transform data visually with data flows or by using compute services such as Azure HD Insight Hadoop Azure Databricks, and Azure SQL Database. Additionally, you can publish your transformed data to data stores such as Azure Synapse Analytics for business intelligence or BI applications to consume. Ultimately, through Azure Data Factory, raw data can be organized into meaningful data stores and data lakes for better business decisions. Azure Databricks is a data analytics platform optimized for the Microsoft Azure Cloud Services platform. Azure Databricks offers two environments for developing data-intensive applications, Azure Databricks SQL Analytics and Azure Databricks Workspace. Azure Databricks SQL Analytics provides an easy-to-use platform for analysts who want to run SQL queries on their data lake, create multiple visualization types to explore query results from different perspectives, and build and share dashboards. Azure Databricks Workspace provides an interactive workspace that enables collaboration between data engineers data scientists, and machine learning engineers. For a big data pipeline, the data, raw or structured, is ingested into Azure through Azure Data Factory in batches or streamed near real-time using Apache Kafka, Event Hub, or IoT Hub. This data lands in a data lake for long-term persistent storage in Azure Blob Storage or Azure Data Lake Storage. As part of your analytics workflow, use Azure Databricks to read data from multiple data sources and turn it into breakthrough insights using Spark. A data lake is a storage repository that holds a large amount of data in its native raw format. Data lake stores are optimized for scaling to terabytes and petabytes of data. The data typically comes from multiple heterogeneous sources and may be structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. The idea with data lake is to store everything in its original untransformed state. This approach differs from a traditional data warehouse, which transforms and processes the data at the time of ingestion. A data lake can also act as the data source for a data warehouse. With this approach, the raw data is ingested into the data lake and then transformed into a structured queryable format. Typically, this transformation uses an ELT, Extract Load Transform pipeline, where the data is ingested and transformed in place. Source data that is already relational may go directly into the data warehouse using an ETL process, skipping the data lake. Data lake stores are often used in event streaming or IoT scenarios because they can persist large amounts of relational and non-relational data without transformation or schema definition. They are built to handle high volumes of small writes at low latency and are optimized for massive throughput. Azure Synapse is an integrated analytics service that accelerates time to insight across data warehouses and big data systems. Azure Synapse brings together the best of SQL technologies used in enterprise data warehousing, Spark technologies used for big data, and pipelines for data integration and ETL and ELT. Synapse Studio provides a unified experience for management, monitoring, coding, and security. Synapse has deep integration with other Azure services such as Power BI, Cosmos DB, and Azure ML. Object storage data sharing between Hot, Cool, and Archive is only supported in Blob Storage and General Purpose V2 accounts. General Purpose V1 accounts don't support tiering. You can easily convert version 1 or Blob Storage accounts to GPV2 accounts through the Azure portal. GPV2 provides new pricing and features for blobs, files, and queues. Hot Access tier. The Hot Access tier has higher storage costs than Cool and Archive tiers, but the lowest access costs. Example usage scenarios for the Hot tier include data that's active use or expected to be accessed, data that's staged for processing and eventual migration to the Cool Access tier. 
The cool access tier has a lower storage cost and higher access cost compared to hot storage. This tier is intended for data that will remain in the cool tier for at least 30 days. Example usage scenarios for cool tiers include short-term backup and disaster recovery, older media content not viewed frequently anymore, large data sets that need to be stored cost-effectively. The archive access tier. The archive access tier has the lowest storage cost, but it has higher data retrieval costs compared to the hot and cool tiers. Data must remain in the archive tier for at least 180 days or be subject to an early deletion charge. Data in the archive tier can take several hours to retrieve depending on the priority of the rehydration. For small objects, a high priority rehydrate may retrieve the object from the archive in under one hour. Microsoft provides several graphical user interface or GUI tools for working with the data in your Azure storage account. These include the Azure Portal, Azure Storage Explorer, Microsoft Visual Studio Explorer, and of course, AZ Copy. And that wraps up design data storage.